This is going to be very interesting when it comes to movies because there are a ton of sequels and prequels coming out. Are people looking forward to it? I don't know. But these are some of the movies which I am looking forward to in watching this year. I was going to say Night Swim, which came out January 5th, but that film was absolutely awful for me. So, yeah, that's one movie down. You've got Argyle, which is coming out February 12th, directed by Matthew Vaughan. It seems like a fun movie. When Matthew Vaughan makes a movie and it hits, it hits really well. I thoroughly enjoy Kingsman. I know that he is actually a very suited director, especially for this sort of genre. It's a movie about a writer and whatever she writes, it actually comes true. So she is on a journey alongside Sam Rockwell. And Sam Rockwell is trying to get her away from all the bad guys. On March 1st, you got June, which I am very excited to see. This film was supposed to be out in November 2023, but of course, with the SAG after strikes, all that stuff got delayed. On March 29th, you got Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda is a phenomenal Lear animated franchise. I love the way Jack Black brought his persona into Poe and I was just thoroughly excited when I saw the trailer when Tai Lung actually got reintroduced. April 12th, you've got Godzilla x Kong. Many people are thoroughly excited for this, but after watching Godzilla Minus One, it's kind of hard for me to see any of the Godzilla movies which are coming out to be superior than that movie. May 24th, you got Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, a film starring Anya Taylor-Joy as Furiosa. Of course, if you watch Mad Max Fury Road, you had Charlie Theron instead, but of course, because scheduling conflicts, that she cannot come back. May 24th, you got Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. This is a movie directed by Wes Ball. Now, if you know Wes Ball, he directed the Maze Runner franchise, and I I actually loved the Maze Runner franchise. I loved the first film, of course, part one Part one was better than part two, part three, but part one has a special place in my heart because it was actually a great adaptation from the books. And on June 7th, you have Ballerina, which is a John Wick spin-off. A movie starring Anna de Armas, who is in the world of John Wick. I really want to see Anna de Armas take on the role of Rooney, and I want to see her flourish in the world of John Wick. Inside Out 2 is coming out on June 14th. I really loved the first one. The first one was fun, light-hearted, something fresh, a great perspective, and I'm really looking forward to the new emotions which is coming out in the sequel. On June 28th, you got A Quiet Place Day 1. This is a movie which takes place in the beginning of the invasion of these creatures coming to Earth. This is also a movie not directed by John Krasinski, it's directed by Michael Saranowski who, if I remember correctly, also directed the movie Pig starring Nicolas Cage, which is a bit interesting to see the dynamic shift as a director. July 26th, you have Deadpool 3. Deadpool 3 has a lot of, you know, powerhouse momentum behind it. People waiting to see how this is going to, you know, change the arc of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, a lot of you know, behind the scene photos of what's happening on set, different characters from the previous X-Men movies being a part of it. It's going to be insane. November 22nd, you got Gladiator 2, directed by Ridley Scott. This is going to be a sequel to the amazing Gladiator movie starring Russell Crowe, and the first film was phenomenal. It had a budget of $103 million, made over 500 in the box office, music composed by Hans Zimmer, with beautiful direction by Ridley Scott, and a great cast of Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, Connie Nielsen, and the sequel is going to have even a bigger cast with Connie Nielsen returning, with Denzel Washington, Paul Mascal, Barry Keaton, Keegan, Pedro Pascal, Jaimon Hunsu. So those are all the movies which are coming out this year. Well, some of the major releases coming out this year. There's a few other ones as well, such as uh, The Fall Guy, Civil War, Nosferatu. But these are some of the biggest ones that I can think of. Which film are you looking forward to in 2024? And which film do you think is going to be the best in 2024?